So for today's video, we'll be doing an installation of the panel do commonly used by printers running RepRap firmware onto a printer running Clipper. This will allow you to use the panel do with any printer that is running Clipper as its firmware. So currently I have this printer set up as it was when it was running RepRap firmware. The only thing I've done is install the Raspberry Pi and install Clipper. So as of right now, my panel do is hooked up to the panel do port on the Duet 2. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is disconnect the panel do from the Duet and we're gonna have to plug it into the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. So if you wanna save the time and reuse connectors or wires, you can simply look at the current pinout for the panel do and how it connects to the Duet and you can see which pins are which. And then what we will be doing is plugging these pins, the five volt, the ground, the RX and the TX into the GPIO pins for the Raspberry Pi. So we have our five volt, our ground, our TX and RX. And remember for TX and RX, the UART pins, you need to reverse them. So you need to have the TX connected to an RX and the RX connected to the TX so they can talk to each other. So we'll go ahead and do that switch over right now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually write down which color wires uh, correspond to what they are. So this way I don't get it mixed up. I don't accidentally plug something that shouldn't be receiving five volts into the five volt line. So I just have them written down on a notepad right there. So that way when I'm wiring this all together, hopefully I don't mix any of these wires up. Now I like to use a five pin connector whenever I'm connecting UART to the GPIO on a Raspberry Pi. And the reason for that is it has two five volt powers before the ground. And by using a five pin connector and leaving that first one open, I don't accidentally shift my pins up one and plug two five volts in. So this is just kind of a little redundancy and protection for myself, but that's how I do it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and attach it to the Pi. And at this point, I'm gonna feed it power and just make sure everything lights up and we don't release the angry pixies or blue smoke. Okay, so I gave it power. We have the LEDs are on, the panel do is on, but of course it's not responding to anything because it doesn't know how to talk to Clipper yet. So that's it for the hardware aspect, and now we're gonna move into the software. Now you will need Moonraker API installed for this to function. If you are running Mainsail or Fluid as your interface for Clipper, these automatically come installed with it. And so you'll need to edit some configuration stuff, and you'll also have to do some SSH editing as well. So the first thing we're gonna to have to do is enable UART control on the Raspberry Pi so it can talk to the panel do. This is done over SSH, mostly just copying and pasting commands. So I'll include all this in the documentation below. But you need to add a line to your boot config text. then control X and then save. And then the next one is disabling the serial console. So again, you sudo into your command line text and then you're gonna delete that line that says console serial zero comma 11 5200. Make sure you don't leave that space there. And then again, control X and save. Uh, we are gonna to have to go and enable the UART in the Raspberry Pi config. So sudo raspi config. So you need to go to your interface options, go down to serial port and disable that. And then enable serial port hardware to be enabled. So it should look like that. And finish.
And then we're going to have to add some lines to our Moonraker config. And again, I'll have this website linked as well. And we're going to be adding all this right here to our Moonraker config. So you will need to add your serial, um, which in my case here is dev TTY MAO. Uh, that I think is the default option. You can rename what is displayed. So I'll call it V226. You can leave the baud rate alone. Um, we do have some macros right here. You can also add more later, but we're just making sure it works for now. So save and close. And then we're going to do a restart. And there you have it. Once everything's installed, configured, and restarted, the panel do should be recognized by the printer and will be fully functional on boot up. All the commands that you're used to, temperature control, homing, movement, loading files that are already on the printer, those can all be done via the panel do, macros as well. So all the things that you used to be able to do with it with RepRap firmware, you can continue to do with Clipper. Now, of course, the very first thing you are going to do is going to set up and change the light theme to a dark theme because nobody's eyes deserve that. And there you have it. That is how you install a panel do on any printer running Clipper via UART to a Raspberry Pi. Now an alternative method, if you don't want to connect it over UART, if you're not comfortable doing SSH commands and editing some files, some people aren't. An alternative is you can use a USB to TTL UART to USB connector board. Now you can get these relatively cheaply on AliExpress, Amazon. And what this does is it allows you to plug the TX RX 5 volt and ground into this board, plug it in via USB. The setup procedure is pretty much the same, only you don't have to do any of the UART specific commands via SSH, and you simply need to assign the USB ID in your serial connection in the Moonraker config file. So I hope you have found this video informative. Uh, if you do have any questions, as always, ask them in the comments below. If you'd like to see more content such as this or catch any of the live streams that I do every weekend, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And if you would like to support the channel, there are links in the comments below to help you do that. Thank you and have a nice day.